Hello kids, today I'm gonna to teach you how to take photos just like me. I put it out on Instagram and a lot of you asked to learn the right angle for a photo. No, not your angle, my angle. For those of you who are interested in professional photography, I will include the settings of the camera with each photo. Lesson number one, white space. Why do I shoot in the middle of an avenue so much? Because at the end of that avenue is a beautiful sky and I'm gonna put the subject in the sky. Let's go. All right, so you guys build it, okay? Stand right there in the center. Do not get hit by a car, kids. Don't run in the middle of the street. I'm serious about that. Okay, then here we go. Okay, that's gorgeous. Hold it right there. I'm gonna get you right in the white space. Right there. Beautiful. There it is. Find empty space and put your subject in the middle of it. Now, if you're under 18, you're not gonna run the middle of the street, so try this instead. Here, we found a median where they could do this awesome trick, and they're totally safe while doing it. She's still in the white space, folks. Look at that. Nice. Look, I mean, Charlotte is totally surrounded oh, by look, white look, space. Look, look. You even see your arm highlighted. You got the person the reacting, the taxis. Everything is awesome, and you were totally wow. safe. Totally safe. Now, you see poses like that and you think, well, that is easy. Anything would look good, but actually, there's a lot of ways to mess that up. Here's one example. The places you think are the best locations actually aren't very good. He wants a selfie of that spot. Of course he does. Now, as a photo, that's cool, but try to put somebody in that space and suddenly they disappear into it. Watch. It becomes more about the statue than the person in front of the statue, and you guys are like swallowed up. That's not nearly as good as finding empty space and putting you in front of it, right? So lesson number one, find the empty space, put the person in that empty space. These poses that these guys are doing are insanely cool, and at the very end of the video, they're gonna teach you how to do a couple of them. So stick around. Next lesson, don't put your subject too close to the background. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. It is a beautiful pose, but you see how the tree is just swallowing them up in the back. But now watch how good it's gonna look when there's nothing behind them. First, the before. Okay. Beautiful pose, but the tree, you know, it's like you're, all I see is the tree. You could do better. Yeah, I can do better. <laughs> do better. Yeah. So let me do better. There we go. The trees are so far behind you, it's about you, and then they blur nicely into the background. Check it out, guys. We did a poll when we started shooting this video today, and 91% of people want more of these videos. Awesome! Also, guys, Get our pop socket. Hey kids, you know when you took a photo of your friend jumping and they got really high in the air, but when you look at the photo, it looks like they barely got off the ground? Here's why. You weren't low enough to the ground. So Charlotte is gonna jump twice. The first example, I'm gonna stand straight up. It looks like you're standing on the ground. And now I'm gonna lay down on the ground. In the subway, what I won't do for a good shot. That looks like you're floating in the ceiling like and your pose is perfect. And look, there's nothing behind you. That is gorgeous. Even if it's not a leap, a low angle is usually best. Watch, I'm standing up straight for the shot. Hold it there. And now I'm gonna go down. Hold it there. That was just a cool photo, but there's subways here. You don't do a photo next to the subway unless you're an adult or you have an adult with you, okay? Guys, I'm using a professional camera because I'm a professional, but all these rules can be followed with your phone as well. And obviously it's easier to take those photos if you got a pop socket. Now we're gonna teach you how to do a couple of them. We found a family that is vacationing here in New York City from Denmark. We're gonna teach them two tricks, one beginning, one advance. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. So instead of doing a selfie, just do this. It'll look so cool. Look, I put my foot here so she can like block it. Then I give her my hand and I'm gonna like lean back to give a little okay. counterweight, okay? I'll be able to lift my leg off the ground and give a good And now move. we can like do like strong arm or something like yeah. that. So remember, it's all about counterweight. Everybody can do it. And now, for the more challenging one, for you it's going to be easy. Okay? You're just pretty much going to grab her and hold her in the back. Okay? You're going to need to grab his hand, but while standing in front, like this. Okay? Now, if your foot split is on the right, turn to the right, 
and you lift your left leg. So you see, I come and grab her leg here, and then she'll be able to push and, then I dip back. and extend. Can you smile? Hold on tight, okay? Now you gotta turn to the side of your good split. So which split? Left, excellent. Cool. Now you're gonna lift your right leg and you dip it Perfect. through yeah, this get window there. space. And give okay. her support Perfect. and support here. Push back your oh my gosh! Back up, back up, yes! Oh, wow! If you wanna take photos like that, then post them on Instagram, tag all of us, and leave hashtag photo tips for kids, and we will repost a few. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Remember, leave us a big thumbs up if you want this to be a series, and definitely follow Charlotte and Nico because they're awesome. <laughs> I thought you said that was easy. He's got to flip and stick it. Ready, go, stick it. Oh! oh! He did it! He did it!